This will be 11, take number three. A microscope can be a vital tool in determining a cause of death. Now basically what I'm doing is looking at tissue that I've taken at autopsy, cutting it very thin, having it put on a glass slide, and looking at it under magnification. What I'm looking for is the cells. I'm looking for inflammation, abnormalities like cancers. Every once in a while there'll be a case that I don't suspect something at the autopsy and I find it under the microscope and those are great cases. I love those. On every autopsy we do, we use this piece of equipment. It's our saw. Now you might recognize this saw if you've ever had a broken arm because it really is a saw to cut your casts off. And it's an oscillating saw and it's made to cut the bone but not cut the skin. Does that happen all the time? Well, it can cut skin. <laughs> Sandy managed to cut tissue with it, her own. Because Sandy's the one that usually uses the saw. Uh, the forensic techs will open up the uh, calvarium, the tops of the uh, skull, to remove the brain. When people watch an autopsy, I think they're most awed by the brain. What's most surprising to them is how it feels. It's like a firm jello. I think they expect something different. Something different. How delicate that is, and yet it keeps us alive. I just, I always still find it fascinating. Martin.